Scrap Brain Zone. This is it. This is the final or the final zone zone. So let's do it. Let's see what we're getting ourselves into. Alrighty. Right or down? I guess I'll go this way. Ooh, up or left? I mean, I mean, up or right? I just said left there. Oh my gosh. Look at that. So many routes to take. Oh my gosh. Ah. Jump. Jump. Made it. Nice. I love the background in this zone too. I love it. Oh my gosh. Dang it. I want to take the top route. I want to take the top route. Oh my gosh. Made it. Okay, jump there, jump there. This is this is a lot like the zone we were just at, uh, Starlight Zone, except it's like industrial and and in ruins. Like this is what Doctor Robotnik could do if he really took over, and we gotta stop him. I love the feeling this this zone gives you. The atmosphere is great. Like, it, like, as soon as you come to this zone, like, you know that you're far in the game, and you know this is, like, pretty much it, you know what I mean? Like, this is basically the end of the game. Wow, this is really dumb with how it's, like, timed. Alright, fuck it, I guess I'm not getting that. Up. Don't want to get hit. Don't want to get hit. Ah, I can't, I, I can't get back up from that side. There. Nice. Also, no giant rings spawn in this zone. You can't get one to spawn, even if you, like, get all the rings at the end. No way to do it. Oh, can't go over there. Right, let's go over here instead. Oh, this enemy is annoying. That enemy is really annoying. They like shoot little balls that like go really far distance and you gotta like jump over them. Oh my goodness. And there we go, that's that zone. Yeah, as you can see, there's no giant ring despite the fact that I have 58 rings. Yeah, this game does not give you a break. Uh, if you don't get all of the Chaos Emeralds before this moment, then oh well. And look at that. This is really cool. This is really cool. Zone 1 took place outside, and Zone 2 takes place, like, in the factory itself. That's really cool. Like, in Zone 1, we are entering. In Zone 2, we are in. Oh, wrong button. Oh my gosh. Let me, let, let me do that again. Made it. Made it. Nice. There we go. Gotta be careful in this zone. Ow. Oh my gosh. Rings right there. Nice. Okay, let me... I don't want to get hit by that big wrecking ball. There. Oh my gosh. Huh. <laughs> Shit, I want that. Uh, that, that shield. There. There, got it. There we go, avoiding damage. Nice. This zone is really cool because it makes you, like, be careful. Like, I like how challenging this zone is. Like, there are so many obstacles, but it's also not the slowest zone. Um, you can you can go pretty fast in this zone if you really wanted to. Like speedruns of this zone are really cool if you actually get good at it. One of my favorite task speedrunners is uh, speedrunner not not a speedrunner, but what one of my favorite task videos is uh, Sonic One, which is this game being being beaten without any zips, so it's like almost completely glitchless and. Sonic can just run through this whole stage without stopping if you're if you're really good. 
It's like Ninja Gaiden. And am I that good? Nah, no. Oh, I got hit there. That's a shame. Thank goodness for the spin dash. And this version of the game. If they if they came out with the spin dash at the time this game was released, they would have put it in. But sadly, they didn't think about that until Sonic 2. There we go. Nice. In fact, that little section right there I was just in is actually pretty unfair without the spin dash. Up. Yup, just spin dash through that. Use the invincibility frames to your advantage. I like to think that maybe they didn't add special rings to this stage because they didn't really think anybody would get by without getting hit a lot. So, yeah. Also, that's the end, I think. Yeah, that zone's actually really short. It's a good time, though. I love it. I, lo I love the challenge. A lot of bottomless pits everywhere. Best song in the game. Best song in the game. Scrap Brain Zone Act 3. Whoa, can you jump through the ceiling here in the original version? I don't recall that. Okay, gotta go right in here. There we go. That's a nice shortcut. You want to do that. Oh my gosh. There. The air bubbles in this particular version of the stage it are, are, are really dumb. Like, they take forever to bubble. So you don't want to be underground. You, you, you want to try to avoid the water at all costs. Because waiting for those air bubbles that give you a bubble takes way longer than it did in Labyrinth Zone. Way, way longer. It's so... Oh my gosh. And yeah, that is actually... That, that is a really short zone. But yeah, that is the final um, zone zone in the game for how short it is. And now we are greeted to this, to, to this zone. This is quite the quite the doozy because they throw this boss fight at you and they don't give you any rings and it is an endurance challenge the whole game makes you go fast but then they make you be patient with this boss fight and you know if you're too impatient you will die and in a way that's kind of beautiful you know the game flipped itself on its head here and now Gotta be patient. This game taught you to go fast, but now it's teaching you to be patient. Also, I find it funny how they give the final boss the ability to crush you. Because that is probably the most annoying way to die in this game. It's, it's probably the most common way to die in this game actually getting crushed. And maybe like... Sega when they're making this game, maybe they noticed that getting crushed would be annoying, so they were like, you know what, let's make the final boss like crush you a lot. That'd be funny. And it is. I love that little challenge. So yeah, that's the game. That's the whole game. Wasn't that beautiful? Wasn't that amazing? That's a great game. I'm being serious. It's quite short, isn't it? Pretty short game. It's quaint. It's funny, people don't... I don't understand people who don't like this game. I, I I mean, I respect it. And I know there are people out there who don't like this game for, like, good reasons, but, like... Most people I hear who don't like this game are like... Oh, it's nothing but hold jump and press forward the whole time. I mean, pr I mean hold forward and press jump the whole time. But... But, but but the same people who say that this game is nothing but holding forward and pressing jump are also the same people who hate Marble Zone and hate Labyrinth Zone for being too slow. So they don't like the game for being too speed focused and they don't like the platforming stages for being because they're too slow. So they don't like it because Sonic is... They don't like a speed oriented game but they also think Sonic should be nothing but speed. 
So it's either too easy or too hard. And they really just can't please these people. They're like... They're like, oh, Marble Zone is too platforming orientated. And it's boring and slow. But, but then Starlight Zone comes along, which is basically the perfect mash of platforming and speed. And they're like... Oh, what the fuck? I was going fast, and then I fell into a bottomless pit that shouldn't... That shouldn't happen. I should be able to hold right and tap jump the entire time and be perfectly safe. And, and it's like, come on. You, you literally can't please people who don't like this game. I'm being serious. They don't like the... <laughs> I, I love this game. Like, I love the speed parts and I love the platforming parts, but people think it should be one or the other. Haters think they should be, they should be one or the other. There, there are people out there who understand this game and, and, and understand what it tries to do. But but yeah. So yeah, that was uh, Sonic 1. Great game. And yeah, thank you so much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. I'll see you all on the Silver Lining.